Hey guys, it's Two Pro or Adam, and today I will not be explaining what happened during the Blood of Dead outro, but instead I'm doing the next best thing, and that's going over five of the most OP perk modifiers here in BO4 Zombies. And of course, my giveaway for BO4 Zombies is still going on until the beginning of November. To enter, it is so easy. All you have to do is make sure you're subbed, drop a like on today's video, and comment right now what one of these prizes do you want to win along with the platform that you play on. Last but not least, if you guys have any amazing clips in BO4 Zombies and you want to share, then you guys can go ahead and submit all of your clips to either the email or the Twitter you see on screen right now. And besides that, let's go ahead and jump into the most OP perk modifiers here in BO4. Before we jump into the five spot, I quickly want to go over how these perk modifiers work for those of you who don't even know what perk modifiers are. So when you are in the created class in the zombies mode and you select your last perk. So for the chaos storyline, the last perk is the Odin perk. And in the ether storyline, the last perk is the tonic perk. That perk will have the perk modifier on. To view what the perk modifiers are when you are selecting your perks you will have the primary perk ability uh, right above that it will say modifier and it will tell you what the modifier is perk modifiers are pretty much just another perk on top of the perk you have right now or uh, it's like a 2.0 version of a perk it has another ability so for example uh, with stamina up you have of course increased movement speed with stand with base stamina up with modifier you have unlimited sprint so pretty much just uh, a buff up version of the perk you already have on coming in at the number five spot i'm not gonna lie guys i am kind of reaching with this one right here i wanted to make this a top five and not a top four so i wouldn't call this one really overpowered but it's definitely really good and that is mule kick so standard mule kick i'm not a crazy fan of this perk you can carry an additional weapon so you have three guns instead of two and personally I've never liked it all that much but the modifier makes Mule Kick definitely a more tempting choice. The first modifier for Mule Kick is switching weapons faster. And this is something that I've always loved in Zombies. And I kind of wish that normal Mule Kick, like in BO3 and BO2 and BO1, had this as well. Since you have an extra gun, you should switch guns a lot faster. But that's not the best part. The other part of the modifier is the additional weapon will be saved and restored on a next mule kick purchase so what that means is normally with mule kick if you ever to die you would lose that third gun like that gun was gone and if you want it back you have to go back to the wall or the box or whatever your gun was with this when you down and lose mule kick and you go back and buy mule kick back you will get that third gun back as well and that's something that i absolutely love another thing that i really did not like about mule kick back in other cod zombie games was whenever i did it down or i accidentally would put on a good gun in my mule kick slot and when i did down i lost that gun and sometimes it was a wonder weapon or a gun that i really wanted to have and it was so annoying but this fixes that and the modifier really makes mule kick a lot better it fixes a lot of the issues that mule kick originally had and it's something that i actually use time to time coming in at the number four spot we have a stamina up and stamina up for me is a must-have perk i absolutely love stamina up here in bo4 zombies it is definitely a lot better than it was in other cod zombie games you run a lot faster you move a lot faster but the modifier makes it even better you guys already know what it is because I said it in the intro, and that is unlimited full sprint, and players can fire weapons while sprinting. I love having full sprint. There are some maps that you don't need it for sure, but there are some maps like IX, for example, or even Blood of the Dead. I love having that full sprint, and firing weapons when while sprinting isn't really a big deal, but it's still, it's, it's nice. It's something I don't use, but just that full sprint is definitely worth having the modifier on for this perk. Coming in at the number three spot, we have a Deadshot Dealer. And Deadshot, in my opinion, is one of the more underrated perks here in BO4 Zombies. It is amazing for racking up a ton of headshots. It's definitely an improvement over the BO3 Deadshot. But anyways, guys, the 
modifier for dead shots is gain a damage boost when on a headshot streak. So normal dead shot will automatically snap to the head of a zombie when you aim in. Also, it reduces a hip spread and recoil when firing, and it removes scope sway. So overall, dead shot is a solid perk, but this damage boost when on a headshot streak is lethal. The way this modifier works is when you have a four perks and your modifier is active, every time you get a headshot, you will have this red bar go across your deadshot perk and you can get a maximum of five headshots in a row and then you have the max damage boost active. So at that point, your perk will be pulsing red, letting you know you have that max damage boost and it makes Headshots just so easy. I love it like a non papped AR on like round 20 is like a two three four shots to the head It makes it like a one or two shots with this damage boost and the reason why I like it so much is because Some of the camos in this game you need like 3.6k headshots Having this Deadshot Dealer perk and a modifier on top of that makes headshots so easy and so quick. Coming in at the number two spot, we have one of my favorite perks here in BO4 Zombies, and that is Time Slip. So, Time Slip is an amazing perk to rock. If you have not used Time Slip yet, please use this perk. So, one thing I need to mention is for the normal version of Time Slip without modifier on, you have a Equipment cooldown rate increase so you can use equipment a lot more often because it recharges a lot faster when you have time slip on which is awesome the modifier though the special weapon rate and elixir cooldown rate are slightly increased so you can recharge your special weapons a lot faster along with elixirs so with time slip Everything is a lot faster and it's so nice. Personally, I'm somebody that uses equipment a ton. On certain maps, I use my special weapon a crap ton and I use elixirs a lot as well. So it is such a nice perk to rock and the modifier is so nice. And the thing is, it's not like it's like a little slight thing. You can't even tell the difference. It is noticeable, especially on the equipment. It feels like I can use another Wraith Fire like every 10 seconds it is an amazing perk to rock and special weapon as well if you're somebody that loves using your special weapon especially on a map like nine with gladiators and blight father this is definitely a perk you have to run coming in at the number one spot on today's list we have quick revive and revive for me is kind of like the jug of BO4 Zombies. It's one perk that I will always use when I'm when I'm playing BO4 Zombies. And the modifier is incredible. So it has kind of two sides to it. You have one thing that's super amazing for co-op and then one side that's just good in, in general and co-op solo whatever you're playing so the first thing is gain a movement speed boost after health regen starts this is phenomenal pair it up with stamina up and when you start regenerating health you move so fast it is absolutely amazing and super clutch as well you guys know when you are playing co-op and you're reviving somebody that's down and kind of like mid revive zombies start hitting you and maybe towards the end of the revive where you do revive the player like red screen and you end up downing that is always annoying but the modifier for revive is amazing for this problem because when you revive somebody you and the player you revive both get full health and a movement speed boost that is absolutely amazing it, it makes reviving uh, so much more rewarding and not as risky and then on top of that you get that movement boost Boost so you guys can get out of there as fast as possible this modifier is hands down the best and it is one you guys have to use there you have it guys those are five of the best perk modifiers here in bf4 zombies the other ones in this game are still good it all depends on how you play there are a couple that are definitely bad but for the most part all of them are somewhat good and somewhat helpful, but these five right here are definitely overpowered and really, really good. So I recommend trying out all of them in the game, but especially these five right here. Also, if you guys have any amazing top five or top ten ideas, let me guys know right now in the comments. While you're down, that you see somebody else left an amazing idea, drop that comment a thumbs up. 
And besides that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.